Well, now to some other, to another thorny issue in the sector, the ongoing confusion over this year's Form 1 selection. Uh, Education Cabinet Secretary Professor Jacob Kaimenyi now says there is no problem with the guidelines used to select candidates joining national secondary uh, schools. Instead, Kaimenyi blames the crisis on what he calls ambitious pupils and failure by the teachers and parents to offer intelligent advice to candidates. Here's KTN's Patrick Amimo with the details. 14-year-old Whitney Nyachoti is among hundreds of KCPE 2014 candidates saddened by the outcome of the Form 1 selection process. She was second at the best girl in Lubinu Primary School's class of 2014, having scored 412 marks out of a possible 500. But she will not be joining any of the national schools she chose. I think in and the Kenya National Parents Association is enraged. Bright children have missed opportunities of joining from one. But the government's response is perhaps not what Whitney and many other candidates like her were hoping for. Kaimenyi says that though the number of national schools has been increased to 103, school heads and parents fail to give candidates what he calls good advice on school choices. Some of our peoples really, through maybe being very ambitious or not being very well advised, the way they choose or make choices is too ambitious. And I will explain. You choose a Lance boy, if you are a boy, you choose, you choose a Lance high school. The next school is Mango. The next the other school is in Arab school. And in all these schools, the number of applicants sometimes is well above 120,000. 120,000. And how many spaces are there? You tell me. So you find that in the first choice, they will not be taken. Second choice, they will not be taken. Third choice, they will not be taken. Now, what do you do about that? These children have to be praised to someone. That's exactly what you have done. Kaimenyi says, unlike in 2013, where four slots were reserved in national schools for each district's top pupils, the numbers were increased to six last year, three boys and three girls from each district to boost national cohesion and affirmative action. You can be a top boy or girl in a district with 200 points. Is that possible? Is that possible? Yeah. Correct. So that child with those points will go to a lance. And with no regrets about that. The Kenya Private Schools Association has threatened to move to court next week to compel the government to make public the selection criteria. The association also wants the ministry to table the district quota to guide in the selection of schools. We have circulated the guidelines of selection process to key parties. The Parents Association and the ministry may have different opinion on resolving bright people's clamor for joining top performing national schools. Why should we confine alliance to that admission to the bed capacity? Why don't you open it up? So that if my child wants to go to alliance, let him go. To cure that problem, it's good to advise that people choose schools in a very intelligent manner. You choose a national school, extra county school and a district school. And district school is a district school. So you increase your, you increase your chances of being taken somewhere, where you like. But on a brighter note, the ministry says KCPE and KCSE candidates in public schools will not pay examination and registration fees since the government has already remitted some 2.4 billion shillings to the examinations council. Patrick Amimo, KTN.